Hello guys to the twenty first day of the Alliance battle. What's this? Okay. Um oh Q Cuba actually pushed him in. Okay, Cuba. Okay, Cuba. Let's look over here though. So as we can see, Cascadia is still getting beat up and bullied and all that. Very interesting. Venezuela and the Freemasons have been doing a lot of damage to each other so far. But um, as we can see, Venezuela is gone. Mexico's reigning supreme. And how close? Venus Rising is less than 100 points to victory. They're pretty close. They are pretty close. So as we can see, they're actually moving their land ship back here to the middle area. Okay, Mexico. Very interesting indeed. But um, as you can see here, this looks like a convoluted mess. It's about between Cascadia, Texas, Mexico. Wow. And as we can see, Cascadia is going to very quickly lose Kalawana. Losing their second capital in the process. So in other words... Cascadia did put up a good defense, admittedly, he really did. But sadly, they are, he is, being overwhelmed now by these people. Now, there's something that could happen, is that if Freemasons does a little bit too well and takes enough land, there will have to be war between them, more than likely, or Hispanic of Mexico. Now, the surprising thing is, Hispanic of Mexico actually survived to the end of the match. Not well, something I really expected, all things considered here. As we can see, he has more scout this and a pizzeria making pizza. And he is making more bombers and all that. So, we can see that he is doing his absolute best here. Now, if we look over here, like Vancouver and all of that, we can see that he does exist and all that. Now, Ooh, it looks like cow. Wait, no, it wasn't cow. It was Kilawana. He was making motorized here. He was trying, but it didn't work out. And we see that all these assaults are taking place. And Cascadia actually pushing in, might be able to take out the land ship in the process. Interesting. If so, how much do they deal against armored, though? They deal 24 against armored and 30 against that. So they actually might be able to completely decimate this land ship without him doing much more range support. Now this is saying Cascade might be hoping to be able to take back his Seattle so he can keep making more mechs. Up here he is making more light tanks though. Now one thing that could have really saved him here though is if he made fortresses early on. Because if he had made those then they would be struggling to take his land way more. As the 725% damage resistance bonus it would go up to 90 to my knowledge. Which would give him a huge advantage indeed. Now you can see that this will revolt when the day changes and all that. It's practically guaranteed just because it's at zero morale. And this land ship will probably be pulled up once it does revolt to someone else to actually begin bombarding the rest of these areas. Now we do see that Texas is bringing more hunter mechs and normal infantry in his tank, so he is really stepping up in this war. Which is saying we've not seen Texas do a lot of the time. And as we can see here, the Freemasons is actually f still trying to fight off Cuba. But sadly, Cuba says, no, our ability to exist is right. And is still fighting him hardcore. Now we can see that, just like the British did to the Americans in, seven, in the freaking 18th century, we can see that Texas, Mexico are putting a lot of subs, which mainly the British don't have, because technology like that exists off the coast of all these areas that they control. Now, will they do anything? Who knows? But they are for sure controlling the Panama Canal, though, really hard. So let's see all the power they have down here, aka just Mexico defending it. He has two subs at level 3. He has a single Dreadnought at level 1. He does have a land ship, too, to defend if they come from the left side. Actually, no matter what, they will be going within land ship range, so he will be able to get one shot off, which would deal nine to ships and six to subs. And he also does have artillery here, with one scout mech to reveal any hidden ships like subs. 
Although I don't know if that really works for water. Hey, Scumbag, can you stand the water? Uh, the answer is no, he cannot. So, yeah, he also has artillery here. So, just like an escort mission in other games, anyone who goes through there will be heavily bombarded for no reason. Now, we can see that this war is shaping up to end soon, just overall. So in this nice universe, the Mexico will actually retake what was stolen from them. I mean, if that's the case, let's go to Texas, so sadly the Olimo is not going back to Mexico, to my knowledge, and all that. So the Battle of the Olimo will still stay within, um, I guess, American land. But saying Texas is there, maybe they can work something out. Now we can see Hispanic come over Mexico. Now, I don't know why they have to specify Hispanic. I'm guessing this means from Spain and all that. Basically, two Mexicos will exist in this universe. And I'll make them powerful. And all that. Now, as we can see here, there's something called Port Arthur. But sadly, you have to still build a port. So it's really just Arthur himself. Um... Now, we can see that the firepower Mexico is bringing up here. A lot of stuff to basically shut him out. But we can see that the Russian campaign went really well for Mexico. In fact, it went so well that he apparently doesn't have any infantry up there for some reason. I guess he pulled him back. But yeah, Cascadia is done for. That would now only leave, I think, four people left now, surprisingly. So we can see the top one's Mexico, then Freemasons. Texas, Cascadia, Hispanic, New Mexico, and me. Cuba is practically dead, so is Venezuela. So the top three is, of course, Mexico, Freemasons, and Texas. Cascadia was on its way until he wasn't. Now, that's nice and all. So, lovely uh, fact. I think so, like, 90, 80 to 90% of the flags in the world country flags have red in them from what I've heard which means that Cascadia's flag is the rare exception here and I believe his thing of uh, Mexico's original flag didn't have red in it sadly I do not know because he decided to change it up which you know there's nothing wrong with that but maybe we can go to the beginning I really should just be typing this in just get rid of the nine insert that one Nope, no matter what, it's that powerful. So as you can see, this is how the match started. And then as time progressed, attacks happened with Mexico taking this AI country and all that. And I think these outlines show current and all that, I do not know. But as we can see here, Baja California, as it's known, was being pushed in by, um, I believe it's Hispanic Nova in Mexico. And as stuff happened, it was completely taken. At this point, I believe this was actually Cascadian controlled and all that, and this was Hispanic of Mexico. Then the war happened and all these battles took place. And as we can see up here, Quebec fell, and this is also being attacked. But as time went on, he lost territory, and Cascadia got beat back hard. Then he took his stuff and all that, which, you know, it is what it is. And then we can see that Mexico himself is actually being pretty cool. Now, eventually we'll see the collapse of Colombia and Venezuela down here, though, and all that. But as you can see up here, stuff's being taken by, I believe that's First Nation League and all that. And Russian America is not this point under attack by Mexico, which is up here. So yeah, we can now see that Venezuela said he's retreating from this time as in leaving. And as time goes on... We'll see that um, he did slowly die off and all that. So as you can see on day 15 is when it finally got to his mainland. And day 13 is when he started to lose Cuba as you can see on the map. And then for Venezuela's complete collapse, it only took three days upon landing on his territory. And uh, more or less, we can see that the battles have been enthralling and happening as time went on. And this is now the current borders and all that. So yeah, so we got day one, which started with these borders, and now we are on day 21, 
but since it's a turn yet, these are now the current borders. A lot has changed, except for me, because I barely expanded. Like, I'm sure if we go to day one, I only have, like, one tiny more piece of land. Yeah, which is this. Which I think I took on the seventh day or so. But anyway, guys, that is more or less going to be it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye!